Let's take a good look at my trades and see if anything looks out of place. If we would look closer on the spreadsheet, maybe we'll find some trades, some trades that'll work. We'll do that right now. <laughs> that got a little carried away, but it was fun. Speaking of fun, just had my first meal of the day and it was very nice. It was three whole eggs with one egg white scrambled up with three ounces of lean ground seasoned beef. Some nice protein, little protein play today. One of the diet tips that I would give you to try if you haven't, if whenever I want to lose weight, what I find, and you know, even though I'm, you know, I have arms like spaghetti noodles. I do enjoy working out still trying to prevent an early death. I'd love to live to, you know, a hundred years old. I always tell my sweetheart bride. So the plan is this, I will live to 100 years old. And the day following my birthday, I will go to sleep that night after a big glass of Pinot Noir, <laughs> maybe enjoy a game either the Green Bay Packers, it would be my birthday. So it'd be the Chicago Cubs, Cubs game, big glass of Pinot Noir, go to bed, celebrating my 100th birthday, and wow, 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 never wake up. And then you could die the following day if you'd like. <laughs> Why do I have to always die after you? So I want to try to maintain my girlish figure as much as possible. And what works for me is I increase my protein. I increase protein while continuing to try to work out consistently. I'm not very strong, <laughs> but I, I try my best and I like to be consistent. But when it comes down to it, diet's about 80% of it. I think we always get it wrong thinking that exercise is the biggest part of weight loss or health or fitness. And it really isn't. Diet is 80% of the battle. So what I like to do is increase my lean proteins. And then with that, you can't fit a ton of other garbage foods in really. I mean, you can at any time, but it's easier to avoid because protein is so satiating. It fills you up and takes longer for your body to burn those protein grams and your muscles, your muscles, they need that, right? So long story, I guess, opening this video, telling you about my first meal of the day, three whole eggs, one egg white, and three ounces of lean ground beef mixed together. So delicious. And that'll keep me satisfied until my next meal, which will be the old school chicken, rice, and broccoli. So I'm already looking forward to that, even though I'm not hungry whatsoever. But my, my point was, speaking of fun, right? That's where it all started. Speaking of fun, I just finished watching the Cubs and Dodgers. I know, you're a little behind, aren't you, Bart? I am. I'm, a, I'm like three games behind. And luckily for me, I don't know the score of any of those games. But the Cubs were playing in L.A. against the Dodgers, and they, it was like a home run fest. We had Jan Gomes, not considered a big hitter. He hit two home runs. My guy, Seiya Suzuki, my new favorite Cub, he was a rookie last year. He hit a home run. He's off the injured reserve list. Thankfully, P. Wizzy, Patrick Wisdom hit a bomb. Ian Happ hit one. It was just a beautiful game. Cubs win, Cubs win. I think the final was eight to two. So if you're still watching, I, I appreciate that because now let's think about making some trades. Looking at the spy here, 41407. So it has muscled its way into the green. All the rest of the indices are red, and we have that oil up just over half a percent. So what does that look like over here? It looks like this. What was I eyeballing earlier? Here it is. I want to close down this Johnson & Johnson covered call. Johnson & Johnson is down today almost 2.5%. They're down to 161.72. So this would just expire worthless. But just in case, because I'd like to keep that Johnson & Johnson position, we can keep that and just close this thing down. We collected how much? We collected $167 on April 11th. Wow. What's today? The 18th. So seven days ago, we collected $167. Let's do some math. Let's close this thing down and then do some fun math. 
because we'll close it right down at 15 bucks. No biggie. Just buy to close and then we'll live to fight another day. We'll release the 100 shares of Johnson & Johnson held in collateral. And there it is. So it cost us 15 bucks, right? So the difference between the two is 167 minus 15. Okay, so that equals 152. We'll do that later. 152. Now we wouldn't use 165 here. We would use our cost basis. And what is that? It's like 160, yeah, 162.70. So our cost basis, how many windows do you have open? So many, you know that. So 152 divided by our cost basis of $16,270. And that was, did we say that was one week ago? Yeah, so we're divided by seven, right? There's our per diem on the return, and then let's multiply it by 365. So an annualized return on our money at 48.7%. So just take it off the table, wait for Johnson & Johnson to go green again. In fact, we may sell a put on it right here and right now because I don't believe Johnson & Johnson should be down as far as it is. So it was down 471 earlier. What is it now? It's almost $4. Should have made the trade here. The screen is refreshed now, but it's still, you know, it's nowhere near its lows, which was just a few weeks ago or just, a yeah, a few weeks ago to a month ago, lows of the year, but it is off these highs. Hmm. I don't know. Is there enough room in there for us? Is there enough action on the Jackson Johnson and Johnson trade options? What if we look to like something crazy, like a little short-term play expiring Friday at 160? So normally the eyeball test would say, no, don't risk that for the biscuit, but we're fine with taking in Johnson and Johnson at 160 at this very moment. They don't pay. They just paid me a dividend recently, right? Let's see. Did they just pay me a dividend recently? They... That's dividend history. Let's go to the dividend scorecard. So they pay it over a month ago. So it's not too far out until they will be going X dividend again. It'll be the middle of next month, the middle of May. So if we collect and we scoop up Johnson & Johnson at 160, according to our, our current cost basis of 162.70 or whatever that is, we should be fine. And if you do the math, you know, the eyeball math doesn't work there. But if you do the math because it's only three days out, I think you're going to be good to go. 40 cents divided by 160, okay, divided by the three days, multiplied by the 365, so then your annualized return is 30%. So hmm. take a good look at my trade. You'll see my Johnson and Johnson looking great. Can we get $42 bills on our cash secured put? I think that we can. I need you, need you. Your singing is appalling. <laughs> is it? Is it really? Why aren't you filling? Come on, Johnson and the Johnson. You could do it. You could do it. Yep, any second now. Get it up to minus $4. There we go. Minus $4, Johnson and Johnson. Where are you? Hello. We're going to leave that up because it's going to fill any second now. Leave that on the pending board. Yes. What else are we looking at? Why is my computer's fan making that fan noise again? I don't know. I think it has something to do with this newfangled microphone that I have hooked up into the side of the computer. Probably puts a little pressure on things. Mm -mm -mm. What else is worth closing or opening? Let's go. Let's look. We're almost 10 minutes into this video and you keep talking about looking at that spreadsheet, that options spreadsheet. Does anything stand right out? Hey, what's going on with our Tesla positions? That's what I wanted to look at. Let's look at them. I thought I had two, but do I only have one now? There is the Tesla. 
making its way up the chart, babe. Oh, it's not. It's down. Downtown to, it's off a of buck 39. Our position is right here, 157.5. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It would cost us max $94 to close that right now. We, we Oh, that's per contract. So let's get our three in there. Three contracts, approximately $282 to close that. And they have earnings tomorrow. Is that correct? I believe you are right, sir. Tesla. Is it? I think it's after the market tomorrow, though. I think they report after the market tomorrow. Hmm. So should we let it roll one more day? We're currently almost 60% in the profit, close to $400 of the profitability. We could stuff all the rest of the money into our pocket and release the hounds on the collateral. We just put the trade on on April 12th. Today is the 18th, so that's only six days. I know, you're probably saying, just let it ride, Bart, let it ride. Let it ride, let it ride. It's just such a volatile stock. <laughs> I know you're gonna do it, I know you're gonna close it. I know you're gonna close it. <laughs> Buy to close. No guarantee I'm going to get that filled at 93 at the very moment. But it does have a lot of action, so it may fill right up. And there it is. So, hey, did it change the price on me? There you go again, Robin Hood. You added a dollar bill. How dare you? So let's do our math just, to, just so that you feel comfortable with what we just did because... We still made a nice little profit in six days. So 672 minus 282 equals $390 in net profit. That debt money is now in our pocket, right? Against the collateral that has now been released of 47,250, all right? Divided by the number of days, six, and then multiplied by the 365. So we still had a 50% annualized return on that baby investment. Baby meaning days. It wasn't that it was baby dollars. It was big boy dollars, $47,250. But we have locked it in and now we don't have to worry about Tesla's volatility between now and when they do actually. Sorry, looking at my phone again. <laughs> have a missed call from my lady friend. So now we don't have to worry about the volatility. Well, Bart, you were at 157.5. Really? You never know. Because, you know, a lot of times these stocks, when they have a bad day, they'll take the elevator down, but then they have to take the stairs back up. So we'll make a play, another play on Tesla if it does anything crazy after earnings. And I will indeed get back to this put scanner, but I'm going to do that in the next video because I got to take a break here and call my bride, call my bride back. See you in the next video.